Out of the six years I've been making my game, I've spent a whole two of them exclusively working on its story. And one of those years went so horribly wrong that I had to scrap everything and start all over again. But why is it so hard to write a good story for your game? What were all the mistakes I made? How can you avoid them? And how did I manage to revive my game's story into something I'm actually proud of? You know that I am by no means a writing expert, or even a good one. This video is a way for me to share my own game dev perspective and my very first attempt at writing, so take everything with a tiny grain of salt. Okay, let's start with the obvious. I've always liked narrative-driven games. They've always been really meaningful experiences to me, and uh, they keep blowing my mind to this day. Who doesn't enjoy a compelling story, right? As I was focusing on the gameplay for my game over the years, ideas for possible plotlines and characters occasionally popped up in my head. A lot of these ideas I wrote down, but that's where they ended. The ideas kept flowing in, but I found myself always prioritizing other aspects of the game over the story. The gameplay always had to come first, I thought. I did prototype some dialogue systems and implemented some simple dialogue while building the game, but again, I never really committed to anything big. Before I knew it, I was almost done. A little before finishing the mainline content for the game, I finally took it upon myself to start writing the story and the characters. I now know that this was too late and that I should have taken the story more seriously from the beginning. More on the implications of this later on. Regardless, I started planning. I made a rough plot, did a little bit of research, and I created the characters for the story. And characters were something I wanted to get right. There was this phrase I heard somewhere that good characters can carry even a bad plot, but bad characters can drag down even a good one. Plus, any piece of media that I could recall liking always had a memorable cast of characters. I settled on a small scope with a pretty basic plot and a cast of five characters. This ended up being a good decision as even just five characters is a lot to juggle at once. Fun fact, aside from the player character, two of the characters are just bosses that you fight in the game and the other two are literally D&D characters I've made. Yep, I can confirm that making meme characters in D&D made my character design better. Maybe. But anyways, it was about time to start writing some dialogue. Story production mode had officially begun. To give you an idea of the plot, here's a basic description of the story based on just one of its many iterations. An astronaut traveling space named Sophia is forced to land on an unknown planet named Pebble because of a strange fuel malfunction. On the planet, she slowly discovers a group of bizarre aliens who are also stuck on the planet, so she goes on a quest to find fuel for the ship and to help the aliens finally leave the planet with her. But as she keeps meeting more and more of them, she realizes that not everyone can fit in the ship. Someone has to be left behind. One of the aliens, named Skull, determined to leave the planet at all costs, turns on one of his friends, Chili, and it gets so bad eventually that Skull even comes into direct conflict with Sophia. After learning more about his past, Skull finally realizes that his obsession has turned him into a monster and he is overwhelmed with regret. Eventually, it is also revealed that there is no fuel available anymore on the planet because the fuel source that everybody relied on, a miniature star near the planet's surface, is dying. Skull decides without warning to eventually sacrifice himself in a last ditch effort to strengthen the fuel source and give everyone else an opportunity to escape. He is successful and through his sacrifice, everyone else survives. I never expected my first attempt at writing to be smooth sailing, so I wasn't exactly surprised that my first few drafts were all over the place. There were a lot of problems. For example, character behavior was not very believable and didn't quite fit with the plot. Fortunately for me, I thought, these problems are in fact solvable. I just need to change the plot a little bit, add an extra scene here and there to establish some things earlier, enrich some character backstories, etc. And so, I kept working on the story. Now that I had started writing, I was committed to finishing. It definitely wasn't easy, in fact it was insanely hard. But hey, that's game dev for you, right? Oh boy, how wrong I was. So I kept tweaking and iterating and working and working, and things were getting better. Everything was starting to make sense, the characters were more believable, they had more depth. The story was definitely improving. I was sure of it. 
Wait, uh, what day is it? Oh, well, it's been a year already and uh, I've even gone as far as to implement numerous in-game cutscenes for the story and I'm pretty satisfied with it. It makes sense, not entirely of course, but this is probably as good as it will get. I guess I should think about that question again. I hate that question. After one year of iterations and drafts, I had made most of the improvements I could think of. But even after everything, was it good enough? Well, I decided that I had no idea. And that's another issue with writing, right? How are you supposed to tell if something you wrote is good? Sure, you can read it, but you've already read it so many times and edited it to such an extent that the meaning behind the words starts to fade away into nothingness. What is it even like for someone that doesn't already know what happens in the story? I knew that I needed a second opinion, but I was too scared to share my work with any strangers, so I just gave it to a friend of mine. Of course, she was biased, but after discussing everything and taking the bias into consideration, my worst fear had officially become reality. It was probably mid at best. I mean, what was I even expecting? My first ever attempt at writing to go smoothly? The, the plot was just fundamentally bad. And you know what? I really believe that I, I always knew. I just had hope that if I kept working on it, it would be good eventually. That the story has some sort of soul that I just needed to reveal. No, it, it, it was full of holes and flaws and the entire time I was just running around trying to fix them. Too busy to even realize that it would just never work out in the end. It doesn't matter now. I have to make a decision. And the way I see it, I have three options. Option one, I stick to it, maybe make some iterations and just accept that as my first story ever, this is simply as good as it's going to get. Option two, it was a good attempt, but you're not a writer. Just deal with your losses, scrap everything and uh, add a throwaway story just for the sake of the player having a reason to play. And uh, option three, start over and do it well this time. Yeah, uh, we ain't doing that one. So I took a break. I think it was around a week, maybe, just to clear my head and uh, think things through. During this break, I began asking the big questions, the ones that I was afraid to ask this past year. And uh, one of the first ones that came to my mind was really basic. What was the game's story about? I mean, I could answer that, but not with confidence. Sure, it's about sacrifice. Sure, it's about regret. Sure, it's about friendship. But I mean, really, what does the story actually mean to me? What is it really about? I could not find an answer. What is wrong with me? How could I possibly not have a definitive answer to this basic question? How can I expect to create memorable and relatable characters for other people when I can't even relate to them myself? When I can't even grasp what the meaning of my story is? Why am I writing this story? This was the question that changed everything. The question that made me realize why my game's story was destined to fail from the very beginning. I am writing a story for my game because I want a story in my game. Not because I wish to share something meaningful and not because I want to express emotions or thoughts I feel strongly about, but just because I thought it would be cool if my game had a nice story. If there's anything to take away from this video, it's this. Only write about something you truly care about, if you have something to write about in the first place. Because what I did was invent a story out of thin air, but 
great stories are not made like that. They must be born from something real. I had wasted an entire year struggling to write the story, but now I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And this time I would write about something very personal to me. Judging from my experience so far, it won't go smoothly, but this story will without a doubt be human. The theme of my game's current story is disability. I won't share details as to why this theme is personal to me, but there was a lot in my head. But it was all good? I started writing my outline, thinking about the plot, even the world building, and yes, this time I will put more effort on the world building because last time I almost completely ignored it. I got a lot of inspiration from a couple of books I read from my boy Isaac. This is the part of the video where I sound smart because I read books by the way. Uh, yeah, sorry Isaac, but those robots of yours are just too damn cool for me not to shamelessly steal. Yoink. One thing that I also kept from the first story were the character designs. Besides, I always thought they were good and deciding to work on the story so late in development, I'm a bit restricted at this point anyways. I'll make it work, but the characters themselves do need a complete overhaul. Things are going well. This time, the message I want to convey in the story is as clear as day. So many thoughts and emotions that I actually care about go into this. Writing the plot wasn't easy, but I knew exactly what I wanted to get out of it. The relationships between the characters, how everything unfolds, it was all familiar to me. And you know what? Maybe that one year I spent wasn't so wasted after all. It's experience, isn't it? It has taught me that my first draft won't be any good. And that's okay, because that's why editing exists. And look at that! I don't even have to revise the plot over and over anymore. This foundation, it may actually be good. In fact, I... I, I think I'm... I'm done? Well, this has been a lot of work, months of work, but I think this could be it. I've even made a bunch of cutscenes in the game already, but... Uh, um. So, I've made everything, except for the ending, the finale. I mean, I've written it down, it's, 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 it's right here, but... Oh man, it's it's a lot, like a lot. There are a ton of open questions that need to be resolved if I want the ending to feel satisfying. Proper closure is important, but it's 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 too much. Wait, what day is it again? Wait, oh god, it's already been another year. I've been working on this game's story for close to two years now. I've almost given up so many times and I've been able to push through, but this? No, this, I, I can't. It will take months for me to finish this. It would be the longest cutscene I would ever make in my life. Art, animations, music, setting up all those scenes. Of, and for what? I mean, I don't even know if this ending will be good even. And I'm, you know what? I'm just really tired of writing. You know, I used to be a game developer once. It would be nice to do something different for a change. I'm just exhausted, man. <laughs> I've been working on this game for almost six years. I may have to get an actual job soon. What about my university? What about my personal life even? I've already wasted an entire year writing this story. How much more am I supposed to... How much... It has to finish at some point. And you know what? I think I have a new plan. Screw the extravagant finale. I'll just change the final cutscene of the game a little bit to give it some much needed closure and BAM! For almost no work at all, I'm done. Sure, the ending will be quite mid, it won't hit hard, but still, the overall story is good now. The ending doesn't have to be amazing, it's fine. There are so many stories with bad endings, why not just one more? It's a hell of a lot better to get a mediocre ending with no work than spending more months of my life for a mere chance at something good. I've made up my mind.
and uh, I was telling all these things to another one of my friends as we were walking somewhere. I don't remember where we were going. I don't think he knew just how much of a profound effect his response would have on the fate of the game's story, but he said something along the lines of, yeah, you know, that's what Marvel and Disney are doing, making mean movies that are just okay, and that's why everything they make sucks and has no soul anymore. And that silly little statement hit me hard. It's as if I had just been exposed as a soulless entity, caring more about taking the easy way out to some quick cash rather than putting my heart into my work. It's not true, of course. I'm not making this game for the money, and I've already devoted my heart and soul into this story, but I haven't done the finale justice. I knew that making the ending would be the better choice, but I was still really skeptical. I had to take another small break to think things through more thoroughly. Is the ending really that impossible to produce? And the answer was yes, yes, it, it is. At least the way I've been imagining it so far. Maybe I could make some changes? The ending won't offer full closure, I'll have to leave some questions open, but if I can focus on the strengths of the story, and leave some less important things by the wayside, I may be able to scale this down to something reasonable without compromising my initial vision for the ending. Damn, I, I think I can actually do it. Fuck. Well, now I have to do it. And there goes the summertime, but hey, I'm pretty proud of this art, and the music I made for the finale is absolutely incredible. Did I actually write this? It's almost September 2023. Well, that still took a long time, but I think I'm finally finished. And you know what? I even think this more stripped down version of the ending is better. More than two whole years planning, writing dialogue, framing cutscenes, and here we are. I guess there's only one thing left to answer now. I don't know, man. It's impossible for me to tell. A couple of my friends that have gone through it have really enjoyed it. I'm delighted to say that sitting down and building the finale was so, so worth it. It really does elevate the story to something that is at least special to me. But other than my friends who are obviously biased, nobody else has experienced the story. For all I know it's horrible, but hey, if that's the case, I don't care anymore. This really is as good as it's going to get. Most indie developers don't include serious stories in their games and for good reason. Writing is hard, dude. Nothing I have done for this game even comes remotely close to the struggle I went through writing the story. It really has been a journey, but after also finishing optional dialogues for the game, I think that journey is finally coming to a close. Mostly. Editing never stops, I guess. And don't get me wrong, there are still a lot of issues with the story. It's completely disconnected from the gameplay, meaning I'm not utilizing the video game medium in any significant way. The start is likely too slow and boring, not all the characters are super fleshed out, there are a few plot holes here and there, the closure isn't perfect, hey, whatever. I am no longer under any delusions that I can make a perfect story on my first few attempts. Writing is just too hard for that. But it is, in my mind at least, good enough for my humble little video game. If you're thinking about making your own story in your own game, I really do encourage you to try it yourself. Just do your research and write about something meaningful to you. Keep in mind, having written is way better than writing, but you do have to write to have written. And don't expect your first story to be good, it's really tough. but. Once you do write something you are proud of, man, it really is a feeling like no other. 
If what I've said in this video about the story of the game interests you or you just like 2D platformers, you can wishlist the game on Steam right now. It's called Cosmic Pebble and you can find the link down in the description. There's a free demo as well, although the story in the demo is quite limited. Wishlisting the game is the best way you can support this project, so I urge you to consider wishlisting if you haven't already. Thank you. And if you found this video insightful or if you learned something from it, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel or like the video, you know the deal. The channel is just really really tiny so if you wanna help me get it off the ground, it would mean a lot to me. Oh, and there's a Discord server you can join about the game if you wanna talk with me or other players. I know this video is very different from my previous meme-centered content, but I couldn't possibly not take this subject seriously as it's really been a crazy ride for me. That being said, I hope to make some more fun videos coming up like organizing a speedrun tournament for the game or playing my game blindfolded. Who knows what I'll cook, okay? So stay tuned for that. Uh, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.